Hello children, have you ever wondered how bones help us move even though they are hard and rigid? Yes, it is all because of the joints. Joints help the skeletal system move. Joints are places where the two bones join together. Joints The two bones are held together by a stretchy substance called the ligament. So in today's class we are going to discuss about the joints and the different types of bones and also about the muscular system. So first the joints. Joints are of two types. First one is immovable joint. And the second one is the movable joint. Immovable joints are generally found in the skull. You have seen the skull. The skull protects the brain and the, the joints in the skull. As you can see, the joints in the skull, these are immovable joints. The joints don't move. There is no free movement of the joints. So it is present in the skull. Only the lower jaw is movable. You can move the lower jaw. Movable joints are of four types. What are they? They are hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. And we will discuss one by one about all the four types of joints. First one is hinge joint. You might have seen the hinge of a door. The hinge of the door uh, allows only the front closing and opening of the door. Like this, these type of joints are also present in our body. They are present in the elbow, in the ankle and in the knee. So that we can stretch and close your knee and ankle. So like the hinge of the door, like hinge of the, of the door, these type of joints are there. And these hinge joints are very long joints and they allow only the back and the fourth movement of the leg and the arms and also the ankle. This is all about the hinge joint. This hinge joint. Second joint is the ball and socket joint. In this in this type of joint, one the spherical structure lands on the cup-like structure. As you can see, cup-like structure. So it allows movement through around three sixty degree. That is the circular movement it allows. The ball and socket. Joint. The ball is the spherical structure and the socket is the cup-like structure on which the one bone lands open the other bone. This type of joint can be seen in hip joint and also the shoulder joint. Third type of joint is the pivot joint. This type of joint is generally found in the first and the second vertebral column. That is, it allows the movement of our neck upward, downward and also the sideways of our neck. Example, neck region and also in the radius and ulna. In this type of joint, one bone is rotated on the pivot-like end of the another bone. So that is, one bone forms a ring-like structure and the other bone rotates onto it. So, the ring-like structure is formed by the by bone, half by the bone and half by the ligament. And what is ligament? Ligament is a, a structure which joins two bones together. This is called ligament. So it happens in the radius and ulna so that you can move your palm up and down and also sideways because of this type of joint. 
Now the fourth one is the gliding joint. Gliding joints are found in between the vertebral column, in between the vertebrae of the vertebral column. And also in the ankle and wrist. As the name suggests gliding, in this the two bones glide upon one another. So the movement is frontward, backward and also sideways movement are there. So, so you are able to bend your wrist in this position. You can see over here. This is all about the different types of joint. Now we will move on to the different types of bones. Four types of bones. What are the four types of bones? First, first one is long bones. The long bones are humerus. and femur. femur femur is the longest bone in our body these are the long bones second one is short bones short bones are generally found in the hand and the wrist region the bones are very short that they appear like a cube example they are found in the wrist and hand Third type is flat bones. Flat bones, they are found. They are flattened. They are found in the skull as they protect the very delicate organ like the brain. The second one is the shoulder bone. The third one is the breast bone. As they protect the very delicate organ like the heart and lungs the fourth type of type of bone is the irregular bone they are where they are present in the vertebrae of the vertebral column as you can see the vertebrae the bone of the vertebrae is very irregular in shape so this is all about the four type of bones about the muscular system As you all know that the muscles are attached to the bones and these two helps in the movement of the body and also the body parts. So as the muscles contract, they pull the bone. Muscles don't push the bone but in turn pull the bone and helps in the movement of the bones and other body parts. Muscles are attached to the bones. Muscles, this is a muscles and it is attached It is attached to the bones with the help of a special structure. This is a special structure. This is this is a special structure called the tendon. Muscle is attached to the bones with a special structure. This is very tough and inelastic structure called the tendon. When the muscle contract and relax, it helps the movement of the bones and other parts of the body. So there are in the muscular system, this is also tendon. So in the muscular system, there are about two types of muscles. What are they? They are voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles. The muscles which are under our control are called the voluntary muscles under our control our control are voluntary muscle like the skeletal muscles
बट इनवॉलेंट्री मसल्स आर दोज मसल्स विच आर नॉट अंडर अ कंट्रोल सो दीज आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स दैट इज स्मूथ मसल्स एंड कार्डियक मसल्स स्मूथ मसल्स आर जनरली फाउंड इन द स्टमक इंटेस्टाइन यूरनरी ब्लैडर and also the respiratory system but the cardiac muscles are those muscles which are not under control and they don't stop these are found in the heart the muscle of the heart contains the cardiac muscle they never stop even when you lie down or sleep they never st stop they are doing their duty they are performing their duty but on the other hand the skeletal muscles they are under a will when we want to move a body under the control of a brain the skeletal muscles move under our own will this type of muscles are found in the arms and legs examples arms legs and various other parts of the body which have their movement so this is all about the different types of muscles now we will study about the movement of a hand how the hand moves with the help of the bones and muscles if we knowing the uh, hand contains two muscles the muscle pull it pulls the bones so it causes the movement so the in the arm you, in in the hand there are two types of muscles the front one is the bicep muscle you might be knowing what is bicep and the back one that is the rear one is the triceps muscle so when the bicep contracts so this is the bicep this is your hand this one is the this one is the bicep and this one is this muscles on the back side is the tricep when you move your hand in the l shape when you move your hand in the l shape so what happens this bicep will contract bicep contracts and the triceps will relax so in turn it pulls the hand up and the movement occurs when you want to make your hand straight what happens the tricep the tricep muscle the tricep muscle contract and the bicep one relax so it pulls the hand in the straight condition all these are controlled by one organ that is the brain or the nervous system so these are all about the muscular system how the muscle and the bones work together for the movement of a body and the various other parts of the body also so today we studied about the bones the different types of bones and also the different types of joints the four types of joints and also the muscular system that is the voluntary and the involuntary muscles and how the muscles helps in the movement of the uh, arms